Bonjour et bienvenue sur un nouvel épisode de On peut le dire. Today, like we announced in the last video, we are looking at the French alphabet, but we are going to organize it by vowel and phonemes. Okay, let's go. So this is the graph I've sort of discussed and talked about in the previous videos, in the introductions. So towards the top of the graph, you're going to have your stretched vowels. Uh, to the bottom, they're more rounded. To the left, they are the front of the mouth and to the right they're going to be coming from the back. In order to do our French alphabet properly we only need seven vowel phonemes and here they are and I've put some little pictures of what the mouth should look like while you're making those sounds. So the first one we're going to need is A. A. So rounded, that's why it's towards the bottom and it's not really uh, either from the front or the back this one. And then the next one is E. E. Then we'll move on to E. 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 I. I. O. O. U. U. Okay? So with these seven vowel phonemes, we can get by to do the entire French alphabet properly. And let's have a look at this. So, classified by vowel phonemes, this is what happens. Each column corresponds to one phoneme, as we've just uh, seen in the graph be uh, before. So we've got your A column, and then your E, 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 I, O, U. Before we look at practicing all of them individually, let's have a look at the ones that are in a different color and underline. So, if you check uh, your English G and your English J, they're swapped around, so to speak. So, that used to confuse me a lot when I was learning the English alphabet, so I bet it's going to confuse you a bit learning your French alphabet if you're an English speaker. So, in French, G is actually G which sounds to you like a J, but it's reversed. And in French, J sounds like J, which again is reversed. One way to remember it might be just to think we drive on the other side of the road and we swap around J and G as well in terms of their vowel sound. Okay, the other thing to point out is the W in the French version will fall into the same category as V. While in English, if you were to organize your alphabet in a similar way, you would put your W with Q and U. In English, you vis visualize W as a double U, but in French, we consider it as a double V. And if you look at it written, most of the time it does look like a double V. So I think we're onto something here in French. Okay, and the last thing to point out before we get started is the I and the Y. So in English, you've made a noun for Y and you've made it rhyme with I, which is arguably logical, but in French we followed another logic. Um, I is a bit older in the French language than Y. We imported Y from Greece a bit after we imported I from Latin. So because I sounds like E when you say it, and Y also sounds like E when you say it in French, we decided to just call Y the Greek I. It makes the same sound as an I, but it comes from Greek and not Latin. So it's going to be called Y, which stands for Greek Y. Greek I, sorry. We got there. So now that we've got these three little notices out of the way, let's have a look and practice each column turn by turn. When they are a bit longer, so the column for E and the one for E, we're going to split it into two groups, practice those two groups alone and then put them together when we feel more confident. So hopefully that should be nice and easy. So listen, repeat, join in when you're happy, and eventually you can also have fun speeding up the video on YouTube to see if you can still follow and make the right sounds. Let's do this. First column. A, H, K. A, H, K. A, H, K. A, H, K. Second, we're going to do the first four first. B, C, D, G. B, C, D, G. B, C, D, G. B, C, D, G. And the next four. P, T, V, W. P, T, 
v w p t v w the third column is one on its own e e you should feel it coming from sort of the middle of your abs area but your mouth needs to be quite slack so if you remember the picture there was on the on the slide before uh, for the e in the middle it was bang in the middle of the of the graph it's not committing to anything it's not front it's not back it's not stretched it's not rounded it's just kind of blah. so your mouth needs to be kind of blah, slack and that makes your nice uh, weak e. okay it's also what we do when we don't know what to say in french uh, okay Next column, we're going to do the first four, and then the last three, and then all of it together. So we have F, L, M, N, same as in English, so it should be quite straightforward. F, L, M, N, F, L, M, N, and then the next three. Don't panic too much about the R yet. We're going to do a video later about um, how you can cope with it, but for now, just focus on your S sound. So it's almost like putting your hands in the air as if you don't care. So we have R, S, Z, R, S, Z, R, S, Z. And if we do the wrong thing, F, L, M, N, R, S, Z. F, L, M, N, R, S, Z. Then we move on to the E column. So we have E, J, X, Y. E, J, X, Y. E, J, X, Y. E, G, X, Y. That's the column that ends up making you smile if you say it long enough because your mouth is all stretched, so you end up feeling tricked into smiling. Or at least I do. Next column is an another lonely one. O. Oh. O. Oh. It's quite a closed one. So in the previous video, we saw an open O oh, that can then turn into a nasal O, oh, but this one is closer, so O. Oh. O. Oh. Um... What was I going to say for this one? Oh yeah, there's the ad for um, Green Giant. In English, in the French version of the ad, he's called Géant Vert. And at the end of each ad, it goes, oh, 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 Géant Vert. So you can practice your O oh like that. Oh, oh, oh. Although that could also be uh, Santa. Otherwise, there's a song by Beyoncé, I think, where she's, when, she, when she sings... Something like, oh, 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 do, 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 do. So you can do Beyonce, but you need to close it down a little bit more. And finally, U, Q, U, Q, U. It's quite nice that they go together for sounds because they also tend to go together in spellings. In that, you rarely have a Q without a U after that, afterwards. Uh, so similarly to English here. If you're struggling to produce a sharp, neat, tight U, what you can try and do is put your mouth as if you were trying to produce the sound E. No, that's not what I meant. It's the other way around. You put your mouth as if you are drinking through a teeny tiny straw. So with a very tight diameter, you place your mouth as if you were doing that. So I don't know, you're miming it. And then without moving your mouth at all, you try and produce the sound E. And if you've put your mouth properly like a straw, then you're going to make U. If needed, go back in the video to the moment when you had all the pictures up of what your mouth should look like, and you could even uh, look in a mirror and check that it's doing the right thing. And you should get something really close to the French U. And that's it. So if we go through each column once more, and then we'll say goodbye, that could be good. So join in, have fun. First column, A, A, H, K. And then we have E, B, C, D, G, P, T, V, W. And then we have E for E. E, F, L, M, N, R, S, Z. I, I, J, X, Y. O, O, U, Q, U. And that's your French alphabet sorted by vowel phonemes. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know if it worked for you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Uh, let me know if you have any um, suggestions that could help me help you better. And I'll see you next time in the next episode of On peut le dire. Au revoir.